local books is what it took for God to get his message to us. He wrote it out, there is no doubt, he didn't want to leave us clueless. God put it all together and gave us all a perfect book. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, then there's Deuteronomy, do, do, do. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra and Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, do, do, do. keep it going, Ecclesiastes and the Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, do, do. Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk and Zephaniah, Haggai and Zechariah, don't forget good old Malachi. A book of books, it's what it took, for God to get his message to us. He wrote it out, so there is no doubt, he didn't want to leave us with this. God put it all together, and gave us all a perfect book. Second, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, First and Second Thessalonians, First and Second Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, First and Second Peter, First and Second Third John, Jude and Revelation. That's what's in God's perfect book. All right, to the book of books. The book of books is what it took for God to get His message to us. Get His message to us. Put it up. There is no doubt. He didn't want to leave us. God put it all together Gave us all Gave us all God put it all together Gave us all Gave us all God put it all together And gave us all A perfect book Hi friends um, It's good to be here this week and I am so excited. This is an object lesson that I came across and I think it's pretty cool. So it's something I haven't seen before and was really excited to find it today. So this plate represents the world, okay? So we're going to talk about the world and what that entails or um, just God's creation. Um, when, he, when he created the world, was his goal to have all the stuff happen? And so he created this perfect place. And um, so I'm going to show you something. This is a pretty cool experiment. We're going to take the salt. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour some salt onto the plate. And the salt represents um, just God's creation. People and um, just everything that, was, that he created for a purpose. Um, the world... I mean, just like the, the creation, his creation. So everything in the first six days of creation, all right? So he had a plan. He, he, it was exciting, you know? Um, but as we know, um, the pepper represents just the, just the hard stuff, the, the sin, the, just the yuckiness that he never planned on doing. And so we're going to go ahead and just kind of put a little bit of pepper around... And I want you guys to listen close. I want to see if we can hear this because we think this is a pretty cool experiment. Okay. So this handy dandy spoon um, represents uh, God and his sacrifice for us. Okay. So we're going to do a little rubby rubby. Pull in some static electricity. Excuse me. Hopefully this works. Okay. Here we go. So. I don't know if you can hear it, but it starts to stick. So if you see this, the pepper starts to be picked up, and I'm going to use something a little bit bigger for it to take up. And the thing about it is that um, God's love is perfect, but we are not perfect, and there's still sin in the world. But his sacrifice did so much to give us a choice to live for him, and the, um, the world changed that day. People had the opportunity to make a choice to live um with Christ forever, right? All right, and when we practiced this earlier today, it did a really good job picking up all the pepper. So if you hear that. Okay. 
Anyway, so um, the sad that you see is pulling up the, the pepper. And this is just God's love um, trying to get things back to his first purpose. And um, never will be in the perfection, but it's just it just shows how much he cares about us and um, desires us to be um, successful in you know choosing him. <laughs> All right, so remember that um, this is a good time when you're when you're hanging out in a restaurant. <gasps> Maybe you can show your parents this, but get their permission, please. I don't want to hear that you guys are playing with salt and pepper and blaming on me. I totally would have done that. Anyways, um, God's perfect gift to us. So we had the world, um, His creation. Um, evil came into this world, and you know God's love is what um, purifies it again, makes it better, and. Love you guys. Have an awesome week.